building a superior service culture, really it's the right phrase because the words have been selected very appropriately. Number one is building. It's not something you just install. A service culture is something that needs a foundation and then it needs to be built up over time. When we talk about building a superior service culture, what we're saying is that a service culture that's superior, it's unique to you. It reflects your organization's values and it speaks to your customers' values. It is adapted and appropriate for the context, both in terms of industry, geography, customer base that you serve. Superior means that the culture itself is going to help your organization stand out from the competition. Now, how do you build a superior service culture? There are several key components. At the foundation is what we would call world-class service education. If you want people to understand and participate, be part of a culture, they need to understand what are the components that make that culture real. We have to educate people, teach people about the fundamental service principles that come into play every day. Principles and learning points are delivered through educational curriculum, through courses where people can learn new things and then understand how to apply what they've learned to their own job. Whether their job is at a senior, middle management, or frontline level, and whether it's external service providing or providing service to somebody inside the organization. That foundation of education provides for a bottom-up, ongoing swell of new ideas and action steps. At the top is what we would put service leadership. Now here's where the very, very senior people in an organization really need to take on the challenge of articulating an engaging service vision so that everyone in the organization realizes, ah, this is the kind of culture we want to build. This is where it is that we want to go. So leadership's job is to make sure that the vision is clear and then also be the ones responsible for aligning so many of the other activities in the organization to continuously reinforce that same message, that same vision, so that it comes into practice and is sustained over time. Between these two areas, at the top, service leadership, at the bottom, the foundation of service education, is what we refer to as building blocks of service culture. These building blocks are the fundamental activities that every large organization is doing. But the way they're doing them may not be sending the same message to staff, may not be as aligned and mutually reinforcing as they can be. So for example, how do you recruit new staff? What happens in their orientation experience? What kind of ongoing service communication is being done? Are the rewards and recognition programs inside the company actually reinforcing and encouraging the kind of service behavior you say you want? What kind of metrics are you tracking? What are you doing with the voice of the customer? Who are you benchmarking? How is senior management role modeling? These 12, what we refer to as building blocks of superior service culture, are the element that connect well-educated people with strong visionary leadership. And then there's just one more component. It's sustaining the momentum over time. You can put all of these elements in place, but then there needs to be an ongoing program of activities and communications and events that cause people who come to work every day to see that this is not just about what I learned. It's not just about what the boss says. It's not just about the elements that we have inside the company, but there's an ongoing reinforcing momentum that gets stronger and stronger and stronger every day I come to work, every day I am part of this powerful culture.